Welcome back. I'm Bill. I've got a short video here about mica globes and cleaning them up. Um, this is a Coleman globe. It came off of a 327 from the early 20s. I'm not sure who the manufacturer of this is. It could be Coleman, but I kind of don't think so. It's got the little rotating door. It came on an L2 on a Canadian L220. So it could be Coleman, it could be some other manufacturer and someone just wanted the reflector back here, which I'm assuming at one point this was shiny or relatively so. But you notice how they look. Now, believe it or not, both of these have been cleaned. I mean, this is pretty awful. Um, both of these were in similar condition when I got them as far as rust and grime and crud and dirt on the mica. And I'd never actually cleaned a mica globe before. Um, I've replaced them with several made by Fred Kuntz, um, wonderful replacement mica globes, uh, but they're uh, about $40, $50 US, and I can't buy those for every old quick light or 220 or whatever that I, that I work on. So, um, and I want to, I like to keep it vintage if I can and keep it original. So I picked up this 327 about six, eight weeks ago, and I have heard people in the forums online on Facebook swear by evaporust for cleaning up globes. They say it takes the rust off, which obviously it did. I put this in evaporust for about two hours, hour and a half to two hours, somewhere in there. Um, a couple of the uprights were pretty much just rust. So this, you can see, there's not much left. Um, both of these were about equally rusty. Um, this may have been a little worse and had more rust just uh, because of the metal plate back there. Uh, but an hour and a half to two hours in evapo rust, it got rid of most of the rust. Um, it took the dirt, the grime, the soot off the mica, but as you can see, it did not leave it clean. All of these dark spots in here, um, this is where evaporust, which started out fresh, it's slightly yellow when it's fresh, but as it absorbs rust or does its work, it starts turning brown. Eventually it'll turn black, at which point you probably need to replace it. Um, but this was fresh evaporust, and it's not just yellow in there. It started turning brown from the rust that was on here, and um, within, 20 minutes, uh, long enough to start dealing with the rust. Um, I pulled it out and you could see it was working its way between the sheets of mica. Um, mica, it, it, it flakes apart. And so even these thin sheets actually have, um, you know, they're, they're multiple sheets within there. And as a globe gets used and abused and ages, even these thin sheets will start to peel and you'll, you'll get voids in, inside of them. So anything you put in here that's liquid is going to work its way up in there. And that grimy evaporust, it got in there and it made a mess. And I'm really not happy with it. Um, it might be, mar might be marginally better than it was to start with. I flushed this in clear water uh, for half an hour. It didn't do a whole lot to improve the situation. Um, I... Uh, soaked it in water for an hour, then flushed it. It didn't improve it at all. I mean, you can really see back here, it's just terrible. Um, I even flushed it with methyl hydrate to see if that would help. And it may have done a little bit, but not a whole lot. Now, this globe was equally rusty or just about, the uprights were in better shape. I put this globe uh, last night in my usual or my usual mixture of citric acid. Um, this is what I use, citric acid powder. I buy it at a beer and wine making store. Uh, you can buy it online. I think this was a one kilo bag and it cost five or six dollars. Um, you can even buy it in the canning supply section at Walmart or a grocery store, although it comes in much smaller packages. Um, I put in a teaspoon approximately per liter of water. I left this in for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And uh, the citric acid, when it's in contact with steel, uh, it will turn a slight yellowy green color. Uh, it looks a little like urine actually, um, but uh, it, it doesn't get dark and it cleaned the mica. This mica had a lot of soot on it. It was pretty dirty, it was dusty. And especially around this, <laughs> someone's lighting hole that they made, it was all sooty from matches going in there. And it took off every bit of soot um, it took off all the grime, it took off all the dust. 
Uh, it did a, a pretty good job of de-rusting the plate, which was just, it was really caked on. Um, and it's nice and clear. This is beautiful. Um, and that was cit citric acid. So anyhow, um, yell at me if you will, because I know a lot of people swear by Evaporest, but citric acid all the way, folks. Um, it's cheap, uh, way cheaper than Evaporest, and it didn't leave my mica all gunked up like that. So live and learn. Um, I'll save my Evaporest for other applications. So hope this was helpful. See you next time.